Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong, and we're right here with Shimano right now. We're going to talk about the new shifting, electronic shifting on mountain bikes. You know, there's nothing nicer than have everything shift really crisp for you, work like a dream, and Shimano has done exactly that. So we're going to have Mike walk us through kind of a little bit about the entire shifting kit. You know, can you use one shifter, can you not? He's going to answer all those questions for us right now. If you have a question, make sure you ask it below. Shimano will have this video so they can answer those questions for you also. And always subscribe to the channel. So Mike, take it away. Okay. I'm going to let you kind of take the mic as you walk through it. All right, well, you're looking at the new XTR Di2, right? right? Running an 1140 rear cassette in the back, right? All electric, all run off one battery, completely rechargeable from this, the indicator port right here, right? It's just a USB like the current Dura system is, right? We're going to show you how it's going to work in synchro mode. We only have one shifter on the bike, which is going to operate both the front and rear. So I'm going to do a little pedaling here, and you just follow along. Okay, so if you kind of watch this, he's running everything with his thumb and one shifter. So we're going in, we're shifting now. So we're coming up. I'm holding the button down, right? We're shifting front derailleur shift, so I'm going to show you that slower. So I'm going to come down, four, five. There goes your front derailleur shift right there. Front derailleur automatically trims. Right, as I keep coming down to a taller gear, I'm shifting away. So basically what we have in the synchro mode is 13 sequential shifts. So as I'm coming up here again, watch, watch the front. The next one, we, you didn't hear it, but it chimes telling me that my next shift will be the front derailleur. Down, down it goes one, and you get one recovery shift. We have three options here built in. We have uh, Synchro 1, Synchro 2, and a manual mode. Obviously, if you only had one shifter, you wouldn't be in manual mode ever, right? Like I said, 1140, multiple combinations with the, with the front, same crank for single, double, or triple. So one of the fears we all have is, okay, all of a sudden we get out there, we're riding this bike, having a great time, but we end up crashing, which we all do on our mountain bikes. So how vulnerable is this derailleur? Let's talk a little bit about that and uh, help us have peace that we're not going to destroy this thing. Well, like, like you stated, we all, we've all torn derailleurs off and, and that could totally happen here. Uh, just like in the Dura system, this does have a breakaway magnet. So if you do fall over on the side, it breaks away without tearing the servo motor apart. So with that in mind, you have some safety with just fallovers. Granted, if you catch this and rip it off, the, the, probably the hanger is going to go before anything. And if you do, tear the hanger off, most likely the derailleur with the magnet breakaway will hold together just fine. Uh, it is Shadow Plus, so it's as narrow as any current generation Shimano Shadow is. It is also Plus, meaning we do have the built-in clutch, if you can see that here. So as you can see, in the open position for taking the wheel out of the dropout, you know, you have chain slap like everybody used to, and you go into the clutch mode, and now it's much tighter. So you couldn't even really hardly get the wheel out of the dropout in that manner. So it's E-tube wiring, which is like current, all current uh, Shimano Di2 systems. So it's plug and play, very easy to put together. Multiple combinations with the battery. You could put it in the seat tube, in the seat post, obviously not with a dropper post, up into the head tube, right? We also have a new Tharsis stem that's built in and Tharsis bar so you can hide all the wires. So everything's internal. Pretty dang cool. What a uh, what an awesome setup. Very clean, and uh, I look forward to trying it out here soon. So, any questions you have, once again, please comment below. Mike, thanks so much for your time. We You're appreciate welcome. you and the walkthrough on the bike. Most of all, keep out there cycling strong. Have lots of fun, and we'll talk to you soon.